welcome back to my channel so i hope you've already watched part one where i showed you how to create a class and the get and set methods if not please check the link down below i will link it now we're continuing on from there so now we we have our get and set methods and now we're going to put input we're going to set our methods first so first thing because these are not static the reason why our get and set method is not static is because we want a different output for each object that we create for this class for the person get set class if it was static it was not going to be like that so first I need to create a person get set class object I'll just call it per yeah person equals new person now I'm going to set my person's name surname and age so the person's name let's call this Martha don't know why that name's coming up and Martha's surname just right now what I'm doing is I'm displaying everything what is wrong with the get surname oh it's more person object so right now I'm just displaying my name space my surname space is my age is old so uh, let's just run that and write what should be displayed as my name surname and my age so there Mary Martha Ellis is 20 years old so that is how you use your get method we set it we set our name over here so whatever got passed here got set to being the name and surname and age and then nothing was returned because it's void so then we got our get methods in order to show what we set here Okay, so um, 
that is how you use your get and set methods that's all that we have for today please subscribe to my channel please like and share in the comments what you what video you would like me to do next i'm here to help thank you see you in the next one